Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. As part of the CS7 to build series, one of the things I want to cover today is what computer do I use for this? Um, the cliff notes or the too long didn't read is that you need a Windows computer that has AVX support on the CPU. And I'm recommending 16 gigabytes of RAM, although you probably could slide by with eight. Um, some of the larger models require 16. But I wanted to talk about some of the options and have a look at what I'm doing nowadays here in the shop. I'm going to go ahead and get behind the camera and kind of show you a couple of the options that I'm using here. A laptop is a great option, mainly because you don't have to have extra stuff mounted on your sorter. And so in this case, all you need to do is bring your laptop in and hook up the USB uh, 3 cable and you're good to go. Now, another option, what we'll see here is to have an all-in-one or a computer that's mounted to the rig itself. And so in this particular case, I've seen, you've probably seen it in the parts list, but we have a B-Link computer that you can buy on Amazon. And there's there are mounts in the CS7-1 repo for this. It uses VESA mounts, but it's a just a small little computer. And then you buy the touch screen. This, I think this is a 15 inch USB powered touch screen. So there's no extra power cable. Um, and then it just attaches to the standard pull mount. So this guy can slide off. So if you have a permanent install, that's a great option. There are lots of options for those mini computers that you can use. And again, a laptop also works. It's becoming more and more my preference as, uh, I like to, you know, we're mounted to a piece of plywood. I like to move this out and put it in a corner and this just takes up more space. And so it's, I almost always have a laptop available. So what I want to do now is head on over to my office and we'll do a little bit of online shopping for computers. And I'd like to show you kind of what's available out there and what the community has had good success with and what you can buy cheaply. There's several options. So uh, let's take a look at those. Okay, here we're here at the computer. Let's uh, go ahead and do some shopping. So I'm going to just go to Amazon first and we'll take a look at what we can find there. Um, my search on Amazon is just going to be mini PC. And we'll just kind of go through some of the options. So we have this Twin Lake N150 upgraded N100, 16 gigs. So it meets the RAM. We don't know if this processor actually is going to work. So one of the things we have to check is to see if it has AVX support. So I'll go ahead and open Google and we'll do uh, just a search like this. So the AI part of Google is saying it does, but I would never trust this 100%. So go to the actual processor page from uh, Intel, if it's an Intel processor, and you can see the instruction set extension does support AVX2. So this would be a good option, 175 bucks. Uh, if we go down the list, we have a kind of a renewed or refurbished uh, 600 ProDesk mini PC. So uh, several of the guys are using these already in the forums. 16 gig of RAM, it meets the spec. It's a core i5. I can tell you that this does have AVX, but same thing applies here. If we go to Google and we do a search for, um, uh, where are we going here? Let's see. I guess we just want this part. We can go and look at the processor specs. I'm just going to search on the page and we can see, yes, it does support AVX2. So another good option here. So we now have a computer model we can kind of keep track of. There's other versions of this out there but they're fairly cheap. So here's one at AMD Pro A6. This is another one I would I would be interested in looking at. Um, I think we can get rid of this and just, we're just kind of trying to find if the CPU itself uh, supports AVX and it does appear that it does.
So that looks like it's good to go as well. Um, the downside on some of these older, slower PCs or, or processors is that you know they will be a little bit slower. So we already looked at the N100, 149 for something new. The N95s, we're not sure if it has AVX support. And it does, so that would be a useful option as well. But um, let's go ahead and get on eBay and check. So we had uh, the ProDesk 600. And we can find those all over the place. This one has a little bit of upgraded RAM, but $49.50 for this, this guy, 26 So there are lots of options if you're going to go and buy a mini PC. I would definitely check out the used market or refurbished market. And the, the key here is just to make sure that you're getting the memory. I Again, I look for 16 gigabytes. Make sure the processor has AVX support. Um, some of these don't come with Windows installed. So if, if you don't do that, then you've got to go and install it yourself. So that's something else to check for. Make sure you're getting Windows 10 or 11. And that's pretty much the process I would do. Now, the other thing is how you're going to mount it. So these, I know the Pro Desks, there's a cage you can buy for them. The B Link that we were looking at on Amazon, some of them have mount points and some of them don't. I think we found that the gray ones didn't and the black ones did. So I, I believe the black casings have it, but you'd have to double check. The one that I'm using personally is the B Link SCR5. It's been a good machine. I think. It's different than what they're currently selling. I think they're selling a faster version of what I bought, but it's a little bit more expensive as well. And a lot of the prices of this stuff has, have gone up since the, the whole trade war tariff stuff. These used to be sub 200, maybe 150, 160. Now we're an extra hundred bucks on top of that. So um, the other thing we could look at here in the used market, if we go back to like say eBay, Let's look for um, you know a laptop of sorts so Chromebooks aren't gonna work I'd stay away from anything that's a Chromebook but you'd want um, why don't we instead of doing cheap do a Windows laptop and kind of see what we get so Core i5 is gonna have AVX support and it would probably work just fine the RAM is good here 150 you get a laptop um, it's been refurbished and certified so this is the process again, the same thing. We just want to check that it's going to have Windows 10 or greater and, and have AVX support and 16 gig of memory. So with that said, I, I'll answer a couple of the questions that we get. Are Macs going to be supported? No, not in the near term. Uh, I am working on a version of software, but it, it could be a year out. I've been super busy with other stuff, so I haven't had to have, uh, you know, I just haven't had much time to work on that. But there is a sort of server Linux based distribution I'm working on for the software and I hope at some point in the future to, to get that done although at this point it's more just experimental and it hasn't worked out very well so it, it may end up in the trash heap so for now we're sticking to Windows 10 or greater and uh, that ought to get you going okay well that's all I have for you today good luck shopping for a computer and uh, I'll catch you next time